All right. We've got our four teachers. We're facing each other. What sport are you doing at the moment? Badminton. badminton. Okay, we have a badminton competition. Get the arrow points from the person who wins to the person who loses. Okay, so I beat Mr. Sterling. Who else should I beat? Just one. Not Miss Ellis. Okay. All right, I'm sorry, I'm going to make it she loses. Sorry. Okay, so this, this diagram is called a digraph. So this here. So can you draw it and write it down? This. Okay, so we're going to make a matrix. And this matrix is going to show the competitions in terms of ones and zeros. So you put... All the people who have played badminton across like this. So what type of matrix is it? A four by four. Very good. So Mrs. Ellis cannot defeat Mrs. Ellis. Um, it doesn't really matter. The top doesn't matter. Uh, e... Did Mrs. Ellis beat me? Yes. So she gets a one. Did she beat Mr. Sterling? Yes. Did she beat Mr. Taylor? Yes. Okay, me. Did I beat Mrs. Ellis? Did I? So this matrix shows who's one against who, right? So we can make it even more simple. We can turn it into a column or a vector matrix. So we simply just add all the numbers in the row. So this row would add up to... Two... And... Two. So you can see... Does that tell us who's the best person? No, it, it just shows that three people are equal, okay? It doesn't say who is the real champion, okay? And this is a first-order analysis, okay? A first-order analysis. We can create a second order by multiplying that same matrix by itself. So first of all, construct the digraph then try and do a first order, then a second order. See who is the ultimate champion. M for Malescent. Or however you pronounce that. Um, okay, so it says Malescent defeats Oliver. So the arrow goes that way, yeah. And defeats Brooke. Um, Oliver and Brooke both defeat Benjamin. Benjamin defeated Melissant. And Oliver defeated Brooke. Okay, so that's the diagraph. So you can see, even though Melissant beat two people, and those two people defeated Benjamin, Benjamin defeated Malescent. So there's kind of a bit of a structure in order happening, essentially, because you wouldn't think Benjamin would beat Malescent. That's what I was saying Benjamin only defeated Malescent. Brooke only defeated Benjamin. And Melissant beat Brooke and Oliver. So it's going to be between who? Yeah. Because they're currently both with two wins. So it's going to be between those two. 
So this is where we use second order. So that was the first order. Second order means we square the first order M matrix. To do this, M, remember this? And then we can do M squared. So that's the second order. So you should have got Millescent as the ultimate champion. So the key to this bit is it says by giving equal importance to first and second order. So there's equal importance. So this is when you have to add the two matrices together. If it says equal importance for first and second order. See how that's completely ranked them now? So Melissa's the best, then Oliver, then Benjamin, then Brooke.